Meanwhile, the, the mother hen of the bunch is showing them how it's done. Take a look. Is that what they do, dear? <laughs> She's showing them how it's done. And look, they're following you. They're like, oh, okay, I'll dig too. That's all I got to do. Father hen over here. No, you got to do it like this. Right, big pep test today. Starting the coffee early, watching Dave make a mess. Dave, yes. why? It can, and it will. You need a sharpener and a rubber. That's a sharpener and a rubber, even though I already gave you one and who knows where it went. Cool, what else do you need? Two pencils. Two pencils. Oh, Dave, you're in luck. Today we have top shelf pencils. Top shelf pencils, normally the most expensive of all the pencils. And they're on the top shelf. Would you like me to get them down for you? They're a little high up there. Yes. Okay. And a dice. Today's lucky number. Oy. Five. Cool, Dave. Two pencils. Number two. Dave. No, let's go. We need to get ready for school, dude. It's a number two pencil. Ooh, Spanish. Nueva. That means new. Get ready, Panama. That's one. One more. Cool. So, do you have everything you need for your test today? You have a rubber yeah. on the sharpener. No, we said Dude, you need two rubbers. Yeah. Well, the rubbers are on the second to top shelf. Not as expensive, but pretty close. So, what well, do you have everything you need for the test? Yeah. Let me see, what do you have? Sharpener. And rubber. Yeah. Two pencils. Yeah. All right, I just need your school uniform and you're ready. Coming to you live this morning from the Junior Fold in the Sheets episode. Nice. Junior, that's a nice piece of art. What do you call it? The double up. The double roll whammy? Mm -hmm. Dave, maybe you, Dave, maybe you can help him fold the sheet. Let's see if we can do that. Working together here, gentlemen. You got this. How many kids does it take to fold the sheet? Hold on. Widescreen mode. Woo. Okay, pop quiz. What's that building on the sheet? Um, we think that was no. What country is it located in? Mostly, um, we're waiting. Hold on, let me get a shot of it because you. Sheet looks relatively sheeted. Dave, this is your warm up for your test today. Eh? This is your warm up for your test today. Oh, we're waiting. Giving up, Dave. No! No, the Eiffel Tower is not located in the USA, Dave. You want a multiple choice question to get ready for today? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Is the Eiffel Tower located in A, Mexico, B, Spain, C, Portugal, D, France? Wait. Where is it located? B. Which was what? France. Okay. Good job, Sonia. You did it. <laughs> Don't worry. Sonia won't be there to give you the answers on the test today. <laughs> Just think, what would Sonia say whenever you read the question? Because that's how we get answers around here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I got a question for you. I want to clear the air. Are you ready? Yeah. Honey? Dear? Darling? Ready. Why do you iron the boys' clothes in the morning? Because they're lazy and they want to They just sit on the Yo! Sit down in that coach and lay down sleep on the laundry board. That one here? You can't even lie and fly. So, okay. I don't know about you. I'm sure now. I'm sure now. Alright, see ya. Inside me, take it. Keep on, sir. Look yourself. Alright. You're going on your house. So, you iron the clothes because the boys. Too easy. They launch them out, they wake them up in the morning and then come out here and then just launch on the couch and, and poop and everything. And then you know, they come out of the bed and then just come back and sleep in the couch. So what would happen if you didn't iron the clothes? Then they go to school with the same way. So you do it by choice? Yes. Nobody's forced you to iron clothes? No. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'll think of something. <laughs> All right, we are seeing history in the making here. The boys can iron if they want to. It's a painstaking process to watch, like watching paint dry. It's very meticulous. And just look at two legs at one time, Craig. You sure? That's the advanced level. You're going to iron two legs at one time? Yeah, come on. It is possible. Yo! I'm going to try something. I'll put my tongue by the neck. A giant! Oh boy. I'm going to try it for two. So you're going to say, I'm going to stop your tongue by the neck with stuff on the neck. Newest, coolest thing to do is to apparently. We have a piece of ice in a metal bowl in the freezer for a local friend of ours to come collect. And they've watched way too much Dumb and Dumber to see if they can put their tongue on it and if it'll get stuck or not. Why would I? I've, I've watched the episode. I know what happens. Yeah. And we're getting out of here. Yes, the show is older than you, Craig. Dumb and Dumber. You never watched Dumb and Dumber? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I watch it every morning. What? Even my wife laughed, laughed at that one. So <laughs> She's still going. Well, uh. well, <laughs> Craig, I can't. Look what you're doing, Craig. Look at this. This is very. We're still going. Look at that technique here, Craig. What do you call that? See, <laughs> You're doing great, guys. We gotta go. Well, then maybe we shouldn't stick our tongue on metal things that are in the freezer. Now, lesson learned today. Let's get out of here. You know when you're driving and you see a, an accident on the side of the road, and you know you shouldn't look, but you just can't help yourself because you want to, you know, see what happened. This reminds me of that. It's painful to watch, but I just can't, I just can't look away. Like, uh, uh, hi, this reminds me of that too. No. Yes. Just eat you got it, Craig. You're doing slowly but surely. You are our, our key spokesperson here, our live demonstration. Best traffic accident I've seen all morning. Craig, I think it's dead. Man, you're gonna turn a page in that book. 
Is it done? Oh, no, we're gonna turn it over and do the other. This is this is like frying an egg here. You're, you got one side done and now we're gonna tackle the other. Meanwhile, you might notice there's several lights on in the house today. Hold on. That light, that light, the one light we're using, the bathroom light, and Dave's room light. Dave's got five lights on and he can only be in one room at a time. You guys have that problem too? <sighs> Dave, we gotta go. That's your cue. What? You gotta go. Multiple choice. Do we need to leave? Yes or no? No. Ah, uh, 0 for 1 already, Dave. This is Dave's victory dance after his test. Bye. Meanwhile... Swan, what you doing? I'm gonna try to fix the polish and then them pop off, okay, pop, it pop on them, them, them. They're supposed to glue onto this. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, them, I don't know what they're doing, broke off, so they can't polish them boots, so I'm, I'm trying to see if it me can get it work to polish your shoes. So here it goes. That's all I'm doing. So I was every minute to jump off and drop off. Okay, so is anybody yeah. telling you to polish their shoes? Mm -hmm. You're just doing it on your own. Yes, the parents say polish and broke up. And next thing I'll do I buy one thing of polish and give them now buy no more of this. Okay, no yeah, more. lesson learned. Children can't handle the liquid polish. Now we're going to school. So you get the blood flowing in the morning to get ready for the big test. Just Race your little brother. Morning, puppy. Hello. Okay, good talk. That's how we do it. Oh, I can't zoom in too far enough. Wow, that's cute. I know. Bye, Dave. See you later. Good luck on the test. I know. We tried. There they go. All right, one down, one to go. Craig, your shirt's on inside out. No. Craig, your shirt oh. is on inside out. Why is your tag out here then? Oh, it's the new style. We used to have inside out day as a kid. Remember though? Did you ever have inside out day? No, or backwards no, day where you no. wore your stuff backwards? No, this is not. We got to wear your uniform when we go to school. A uniform we wear when we are ordinary clothes at school. So or, we can't wear them inside out. We used to even have pajama day. Well, none of them have pajama day out here. I remember about that. Morning. Morning. So, no. Cool. Okay, chickens are up. Junior's not scaring the chickens. Promise. Junior, where are you going? Junior, where are you going? Why? Like, yes, you have chicken duty, but you don't have any food in your hand and you're not checking for eggs, so why are you at the door? So, huge development in the chicken industry world. We actually came here last night to put the chickens to bed and two of them we're up here already in the top, chilling out, ready for bed. And I'm pretty sure it's the two of them that are laying eggs. No, Junior, they don't lay eggs, lay eggs later this morning. But we do get to get some food. Anything? Um, cool. Smooth. Time to feed the chickens. All right, Junior, math problem of the day. You ready? Yeah. 
There are how many chickens in the coop? Six. Six chickens. Each chicken gets half a cup. How many total cups do we need for the chickens? Four. How did you get four? Got a golden foot on. I don't know about that. Okay. Junior, if each chicken gets half a cup and we have one cup, how many chickens would that feed? Two. Two. So one cup feeds two chickens. How many cups will two cups feed? Two cups feed? Uh huh. Three. Uh, four. Because one cup feeds two, two cups feeds four. How many do you think three cups will feed? Six, Junior. Three cups will feed six chickens. Gotcha. Applied math. I'll keep working on it. Four, Junior. Three cups will feed six chickens. Junior, no. Junior, no, no, no. Put it back. Why? Why do you have it super full? When you make a cup, it needs to be level. Like this. That is not level. Level to the top of the cup. Junior, pick up a scoop, make it level with the top of the scoop. That makes one cup. Make some? Close enough, Junior. That's one. How many more do you need? Two. Cool. Okay. How many more do you need? Good morning, everybody. Junior's got your food today. They're like, we don't know this one. He hasn't come by in a while. Nice. All right, hoping to get some more sunlight today to keep those chocolate things Trying. Still need a couple days left. Hopefully Craig gets to school. Craig, you're going the wrong way. Taxis are that way. Hey, Junior. Alright, Sonia is inspired here. Somebody tells me that. Honey, I don't know what did you put one on the bottom? Mm -hmm. What's the plan now? I'm gonna wrap it. You're gonna wrap it? Mm -hmm. Alright, well, the people at home can't wait to see how this one plays out. Egg and cheese and stuff on the bottom. Now what? Mm -hmm. Now what? No Alright, stay tuned. She's gonna flip something. There she goes, flipping away. One, two, three, three. Hey, it's a proud Sonia moment right there. Yeah, yeah. I got this. I got this. I got this. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's remind ourselves that eggs and cheese. Don't exactly agree with Sonia, so she might have it now, but it's gonna have her later. <laughs> oh boy, nice. Oh, suddenly he was like, "Wait, you're cooking something that doesn't seem too bad." Honey, I think it's time.
Ready? Yeah, you gotta push your finger into this egg. You're, you're gonna have so many shells. Yes. Now it needs to. You're supposed to pull apart the pieces. Okay. Don't drip any egg on the floor. Finding more and more ways to eat eggs today. That's Junior. How would you describe the taste? What, what did you make, Junior? What? Tortilla. Tortilla. Uh huh. Egg. Uh huh. Cheese. Uh huh. And how does it taste? Fine. Yeah, but what would you say to describe the taste? Good. Any other adjectives, since we're working on adjectives, describing words? Nicey. Hold on, no more bites, Junior. No, Junior. Junior, put it on. Give me some adjectives to describe the taste. Nice. How, how does nice taste? Mm. Okay, well, is it sweet? Is it salty? Is it... Is it Crunchy, is it soft? What are, give me some words to describe the taste. It's soft. It's soft, okay. Salty or sweet? Sweet. It's sweet. What makes it sweet? It's soft. The salt makes it sweet. <laughs> All right, Junior, back to breakfast. Hi. <laughs> We're gonna call this the Avid Party Aphid Party Aftermath. It's a working title, but peppers are bouncing back. They're resilient. And all of this new growth coming in now. Out with the old and in with the new on that one. On this one. Looking nice and dandy. Now this guy's starting to spring back. All this new leaves coming in. Yeah, man, peppers are going to be back in no time. Better than ever. But today we are going to expand the chicken area. And they've been kind of nice, I'm not going to lie. They've been excited, just starting to get attached, I guess you could say. Yeah, you guys. Hello. Good morning. Oh, now we're friends. That's cool. Yeah. Well, anyway, we got to figure out how much footage we're going to give you guys to roam. Should we check and see if anybody decided to lay an egg this morning? Oh, good morning. Oh, two of you. This is our. This is going to be the nest box over here. I'm pretty much deciding to give up at this point and that this is where they want to lay the eggs. I guess it should be where they lay the eggs. So, egg number 17. And egg number 18, thank you very much. I'll come back for you in a bit. But anyway, so we're gonna map off a, a area of the garden that will allow them to roam and be free per se. And then hopefully in a perfect world, we'll like move that area over time so that they can kind of like fertilize the land a little all over the place. But let me try and map out where we'd like them to be able to go. So you know they're getting attached. Junior's running away with the eggs, and I've got him distracted. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Yes, everybody's like, what's going on? Apparently, you like getting petted at this point. Hi. Yeah, you jumped up here. Don't jump up there again, because... Good morning. I know, I know, I know. Honestly, I forgot which one of you is which at this point, but I don't have any food for you right now. I'm just going to pet you. I know. Oh no. Look at me now, world petting chickens. Hey, don't peck me. Okay, we're gonna figure this out. I'll be back, okay? You guys are good? You're good? Hey, 
You calm down. And you. Are you my favorite? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. You like pettings. And you like pettings. Mm hmm. Nobody likes my cucumber. Fine. All right. I'll be back. Toodles. That's what I'm talking about. We're not going outside yet. No. You got to stay inside. You got to stay inside. This is like your new perch. No. This is too close to the outside world, my friend. Yeah, go on this on the on the thing. Get down. Get down. Please get down. Don't make me pick you up, woman. Yes. Get down. Thank you. Okay. Way back. Promise. Okay, Luna, quick trip you, today. Luna, what are you doing? Watching children be children. Bye, Junior. Take two. So we are headed to the high gates, and this is the chicken run because we are going to go get fencing in order to allow the chickens some space in the yard to roam. Because they're starting to get a little attached and starting to get a little affectionate. Tony, don't get jealous, okay? The chickens. Get they're getting kind of, no, they're getting attached to me. No, you're Every time I show the up, chicken. they come over to the door. They say, pet me. Can they come out? You want to come and play? Just saying. Okay. Every time I show up at our door, what does Sonia do? She runs the other way. Mm -hmm. Fast. Safe hmm. but over there. Safer that way there. Cool. Well. Yeah, it's more safer that way. Run the other way. Yeah. I don't know if you say right now. No, some by Junior. You come just like this, all natural. <laughs> just like Sonia, all natural. Here we go. All Lovely montage of Sonia looking at her. Junior has an idea. Junior? Yeah. What's your idea? Bicycle. Bicycle, yes. $17,800. No, you need the bigger bicycle, Junior. You're not a little boy. Junior. So great, it's still $17,000. Okay, still almost $15,000. What's the plan, Junior? Uh -huh. uh -huh. And where does your seven thousand come from? Oh. So I think what Junior's trying to say is he would like to receive his own four oh one junior, we're gonna call it. So the idea being that if he saves money from his allowance we'll match it in order for him to be able to buy a bicycle. Does that make sense? So every every dollar that you save, or every hundred dollar that you save, will match it with a hundred dollars, so that you could put it towards buying a bicycle. Yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah. Hmm. Bicycles do look nice. I will talk to your brothers about it when they get home, if you remind me, and we might have a new. I'm not a retirement plan for the kids, but a new spending plan that for every dollar they save in their allowance will match it so they can buy something like a bicycle, which they desperately want. Right, Junior? So, how does the program work again? If you... Okay, so, but if you save $500 out of your allowance, how much will we pay? 
Silver. No, if you say 500, how much? If we match it, how much do we pay? More to the theater. Yes. Yeah, we'll keep working on it. We'll check it out later today, see if we can get them to understand the, the matching program. Survive the first round. Sonia now has purchased her hair. Brace yourself. Let's see how it looks. What do we got, dear? 3X Ghana pre-stretched, easy to braid. We're going with a little purple flare. Oh, my favorite part. Look what it says at the top. It's realistic. What do I mean by realistic? It means it looks real. Oh, it's realistic. Yes. Cool. Stay tuned for when Sonia gets her hair done. Someday. Edges. What is that? Edges. What is edges? So what is it? So to make it edges. To make it pretty. Edges. Hey, Junior, don't open it. Junior, don't open Junior. it. Put the lid on it. Put it away. Come, Junior. Yay. When we keep going. Sixty-five feet of chicken mesh. We're gonna go home and get some some area marked off for the chickens to roam. Once my wife is done roaming. Sweet. Wow. Mara, is you good? Right, you good? Yeah. Look at your face. Look at your face. You're dirty. Mm -hmm. Comes trouble. Yeah, <laughs> tell him, come back to the yard. Oh, come back to the yard. I didn't say. Yes, really. How'd it go? How did it go? How do you know? Okay, let's hear it. Tell us a story. Have a chip. He didn't even say thank you, Maris. So? Mm hmm. That's the whole story. Then, 10, 10, 15, you're over. Mm hmm. Lunch. I'm playing. And you must come. Go in there. And come. Was it hard? No. It wasn't hard. You had to read it all yourself and do everything yeah. yourself. Did you bring back your two pencils? Three. You left with two pencils and you brought back three? Mario, come back home with four. Okay. Mario, come. Mm. 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 So you think it do you think it went okay? All right. Cool. <laughs> Doing great, dear. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh boy, Maria, she's falling asleep, man. Hey, 
Wait, She's falling asleep. Oh yeah, Sonia. Sonia bought a book today. The brand new Diver Whipper Kid. No brainer. No brainer, kid. Gwimpy. Me ain't no nothing. Other things, nothing. But this stuff only supposed to put on the brain. Wow. Like on TikTok and every. I choo choo in my book. I'm not kidding. Mm hmm. Alright. Oh. Jerry, they are ready. This is a new version of the Wimpy Kid. Tyler, I think Neta did read one. Mm -hmm. She's gonna read it first, Dave, don't worry. For mm -hmm. what? For fun, Dave. For fun. Reading for fun, I know. It's a weird concept. Well, we Get your feet read. out of my we chair. Can't play no. no. We have stuff to do on the back. Where do we go? Pretty first part, tell them. What do you Get him. Normally we don't go so extravagant on lunchtime, but Dave's back now from his test and Junior and the gang is around, so we're gonna go fries and burgers for lunch. We gotta get some lettuce. The chickens are becoming a little spoiled, more spoiled than the children. Says, I know every time I come by, I'm probably bringing something to eat. Got a gnarly piece of lettuce. Let's see what they think of it. Check it out. All right, I don't want any fighting now. You hear? Let's try and share. Here? Here. I'm going to put a little here. Who wants to try it? You want to try some lettuce? Stop fighting. You're afraid of my lettuce. There. Lettuce in different places. Enjoy. Okay. Oh, share. Okay. Nobody sees the piece hiding back there. All right, you guys enjoy. We're gonna go eat lunch too. We'll be back. Even better. Ah, there goes my uh, Arlo. Uh, So, I know some people haven't seen me in the kitchen lately, but, well, you've seen me in the kitchen lately, but we're gonna try and make it a regular thing of getting a little bit of um, Tyler specials, I guess. Today, we've got some burgers with cheese, with lettuce from the garden, and tomato, and special order ketchup and mayonnaise, and Marez, did you say thank you? Close enough. Thank you. All right, let's eat. Cool. Okay. Now, it is time to create a nice outdoor environment for the chickens. Me and whoever else wants to help. What do you mean, who? Are you going to help? Apparently Dave's gonna help, we'll see how long that lasts, but needless to say, this is gonna be the time-lapse edition because we don't know what we're doing. Okay, it's the PSA, public service announcement. If you are sensitive to kids climbing trees, please fast forward the next 10 seconds of the video as to not hurt anybody's discretions, but how's the weather up there, Dave? Yeah? Did you get the apple? We'll have to modify it a bit since some of the birds found it. Yeah. Cool. Can we get a, can I get a close up? 
Okay, a couple of snops of the bird, but that's all right, we'll, we'll make it do. Now here's the goal is to not knock off any of the white ones along the way. <clears throat> okay, and Dave is down safe and sound. Now we return to our regularly scheduled program, chickens. Dave, how long have you been climbing trees? Long time ago. Like how long? No fears ago. Okay, any pieces of advice for anybody out there that wants to climb a tree? What do you recommend? Mine and it. Keep going. I'm not holding that, you go. You got it, Dave. I'm going to go on record and say this was Dave's idea, but I think even though it's a pretty rudimentary word of the day, Dave, rudimentary, you know what that means? It means not very well constructed, but it'll do the trick. That's what I'm, how I'm going to define rudimentary. Dave's got the door. We've got the latch here. Dave? Let's see how it goes. Oh, we got to get that last piece. Oh, false alarm. Hold on. The pathway to Neverland is free. And nobody's figured it out yet. All right, get a piece of apple. Oh, he's out. She's out. What? Uh oh, there goes one. There goes two. I'm chomping on the weeds. Okay, they found the escape hatch. Dave's sitting by anxiously, not getting myself full of dirt. Thank you, Dave. Okay, chickens out in the yard. So this is pretty exciting when you're here. I hope it's as exciting for you guys. <laughs> Some might seem it to be a little anticlimactic, but cool. Chickens have their own little fenced-in space that hopefully will contain them to an extent. And we got a door to build. But until then, that didn't take long. Time to roam. All right, we'll see you guys on the other side. let the chickens out the, well, the, the craziness cool. arrives yes, cool. honey hop in there and help us out right here so where door? right here that's our door it is for now so then go in that's all yeah we're building yeah. the door down there right now hop in join your friends mm. they missed you actually they were talking all about you while you're gone mm. yeah Nothing, dear. Nothing oh, right no, now. Put it right over there, so. You know, sometimes in life when you've thought you've accomplished something amazing and then somebody else comes along and says, hey, you know what? We should do this next. When I like how the pronoun of we comes out when we haven't been here for the last hour while we put this together. And now we know. I never She's said it looks good. It looks good. Yeah, it looks all right. And it's going to get reinforced. As long as Quena doesn't keep playing with the mesh. <laughs> Thanks, Quena. It's for the chickens. <laughs> and Dave's first try. 
First try? Oh, your grandmother can look for you, you know. Did you tell him he's in the back with the chickens? <laughs> hey, you know? Yeah, we got a door over here. And Sonia's on the next project already. <laughs> mm -hmm. First try? Cool. So, quick update. We got the door cut out and hammered down and meshed up. When I say we, I mean not really Dave. He's been horsing around. But, you did help. I appreciate that. We got, so we got the hole. We got the mesh mesh. The hole hold. Now we got to figure out what we're going to use to cover that when it's not time to go out and play. Dave, any ideas? That's your cue, Dave. Ideas. Okay. Maybe some boards. Maybe some boards. Sounds good. Sorry. Meanwhile, the, the mother hen of the bunch is showing them how it's done. Take a look. Is that what they do, dear? <laughs> She's showing them how it's done. And look, they're following you. They're like, oh, okay, I'll dig too. That's all I got to do. Father hen over here. No, you gotta do it like this. Oh, they're trying. They're trying. Oh. They're point that people. Oh, nice. This is um, family bonding time. <laughs> All right. Well, it's getting to be about that time. We will do some more securing of the premises tomorrow. Sonia's still going strong over there. Good job, dear. Yep. You good? Okay. Meanwhile, we've made a makeshift door for the entrance to the outside world out of leftover Roofing material, obviously custom coops, only repurposing and reusing when the door shuts. And then we latch it and we are secure enough for now. Probably put, put another one up here, but I think we're going to be all right. But right now, the little ones are still playing. So we'll see what they do when the sun starts going down. Hopefully they go in and on their own. And like I said yesterday, two of them actually went up to the top of the coop by themselves, so we'll see how many do that today. You ready to go inside? So here's my analogy for today, right? So we're building, unfortunately or fortunately, an all-inclusive resort for the chickens. We... We? That's French for yes. Nice. And much like the beaches in Jamaica... Oh, where'd you go? There was a chicken around here. Like, you get the, the chickens on the outside of the fence wondering, hey, how come you guys got all-inclusive resort and we're just on the side trying to get by and enjoy a little chicken time? Is that a good analogy? Is that bad? Am I making any sense or have I been around the chickens for too long at this point? <laughs> ah, let's go in and figure out dinner. Hi. Everybody's where he's coming back out for more, huh? Like, we haven't seen this before. We're gonna enjoy it as long as we can. We'll keep it on and we'll see what they do when, uh, as the sun starts going down. In a perfect world, they just go up in the coop on their own. But we'll see. Looks great, dear. One, we're getting there. We're getting there. Chickens, soon bedtime. Now we're gonna go figure out dinner.
evening, sir. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Ah, oh, see. See, so you got you got a blowout. Man, check out the outdoor, indoor, outdoor living space. Pretty soon they're gonna have a pool and a jacuzzi and room service. Eh? Because it's a door that they can go in and out whenever they want. Oh. I know, right? They've decided to go in. The goal, hopefully, they uh, decide to go in for the evening and we just go down and shut the door. But, see, he's going in. She's going in. Going in. Zoom. Focus. Yep, she went in. Did you see it? Did you see? That was a joke, Craig. <laughs> We're building them an all-inclusive resort, and then you get the others outside of the all-inclusive that want to join the party. That's my horrible analogy for the day. Hello, who are you? See, this is what happens. You build an all-inclusive resort, and then the, 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 we'll call it the local chickens are like, hey, this was my property before you built an all-inclusive resort. Now I can't even go on it no more. There's not even beach access. That's one thing I'll say is different between Jamaica and Kauai. In Kauai, no matter if there's hotels or not on the actual hotel, or like on the actual beach, then uh, they have to provide access to the public to be able to go on the beach because the beach is considered public property. Not like here in Jamaica, unfortunately, where it's not the same, let's just say that, so... At least the chickens are happy. The ones that, you know, are at the all-inclusive resort. Supposedly. Oh look, even cats. Even cats, yep. Even cats are like, yo, just the other day I was rolling around in that area. Hey Dave. Yeah, we're back in the kitchen again. First lunch, now dinner. I know, right? Now this is how mom used to make spaghetti. <laughs> you open a bag, you open a can, and if you're really lucky, you open another bag. And then you have spaghetti. Right? Mm -hmm. That's all you gotta do. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Spaghetti. Right, we're getting close to sunset here and my chickens, I think are enjoying their freedom, that's for sure. Because they haven't gone in yet. Yeah, you guys, it's supposed to be bedtime. So, I'm going to put up a time lapse and see uh, what they do. Yeah, just as I said that, it looks like they're starting to mosey. Uh-huh, let's see. Everybody's deciding to go in. Oh, there's another one. Everybody else deciding it's time to call it a night. Hmm, we'll see what they end up doing. Okay, it looks like we got one left. Zoom. Oh, he's thinking about it. Hold on, no, we got one left. One left struggling. Come on, man. A two. Oh, two. Two left. Oh, oh, 
He's like, where'd everybody go? He's going. Oh, he's going to jump. No. Oh, he's thinking about it. Wait. Gee. They're like, where are we going, guys? Everybody else is upstairs. Come on, man. The suspense is killing us. Come here, vote for uno. Vote for uno. Oh. It's back on the rock. It's very exciting stuff. Watch out. Backing up. Yes, everybody's watching it. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Whole family's involved now. Even Two more left. They gone up? One gone up a while ago. Mm. Two more left down the ground. One is behind the water thing. And then they're on the pony rock. Do you wanna dump? Wait there. Oh, oh. Wait there. He's moving. Let me see if he might go up. They don't wanna come oh, up. Don't go up on the no, rock. Let's okay. go. Going up. We got one left wondering, what do I do? Everybody left. He's... Oh, where's he's looking? He's going to jump on the thing. It's going to happen. He's going. I got to go shut the outside part. Come on, man. I mean, woman. Oh. Thinking about it. Everybody left me. We used to stay down at the bottom and now started for Oh Woo! We need to laugh. I'm not sure how to feel about this. Should we really be this excited about chickens finding their coop? Like welcome to retired Jamaica. Well, I didn't go up on M1 yesterday. Okay, looks like all the chickens are up. Oh, I gotta go. They did it first night all up on their own. You saw it live in person. Well, on TV while we're in person. And now, gotta, gotta be the overprotective uh, helicopter hovering parent and shut the, ah, my face. Gotta shut my door. Wait, yeah, we'll make this better tomorrow. Door is closed. Actually, that went the wrong way. Door is closed. Let's go check on the the chicken. I'm gonna call them the chickens. I'm gonna call them the chickens. Man, they all made it up on their own. Proud parent moments. <sighs> they did it. Two of them did it yesterday. Today, all of them are like, I guess that's where we gotta go. And they went. Let's not try. To... All right, I'm just checking. Don't freak out. Good night. Everybody's here. Good night. No eggs. Okay, that's fine. Bye, guys. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Sweet. Hey, now I know we shouldn't be... This is not a competition. We shouldn't be comparing, but... Maybe the chickens can inspire the children. If they can learn... They've been here nine, two weeks, and they've learned how to go to bed on their own and figure things out. Maybe it'll transfer over to the kids. We'll use the analogy, like, look, if chickens can do it, anybody can. Right? Hello? Oh, hi. Who are you? Me? Yeah, I said, who are you? Nobody. You're Mr. Nobody? I am Nobody. Name? Are you lost? Yes. 
Do you know where you are? Where are you? Your face, <laughs> your back, your head's on him. You know today's a big day, right? Yes. Why is it a big day today? Why is today a big day? I have item. Well, what do you get tonight if you get one more star? The shoes. The shoes. Well, good evening, Andre. What's going on? You look like you're ready to go to bed. You want the good news or the bad news? Andre fell asleep on the couch, so we're gonna make it quick. Andre, do you think you got your last star? Yes or no? Close enough. Yes, Andre. Star Woo! number 10. Andre, go get your shoes. Yay! They're the smallest box. Craig, excuse, you haven't earned nothing yet. Show the world what you got. Come here, bring him here, bring him here. Let me see. Nice. Andre, enjoy the shoes. Have a good evening. We'll see you on the other side. You gonna say goodbye? 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 Close enough.